What's going on all my YouTube buddies? It is me, Jacob, with another video. Continuing on in my series celebrating Disney, I'm taking a look at the last movie of the big five movies of Walt Disney's Golden Age. I've already done Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, and Dumbo. And now we are on to the final movie of Walt Disney's Golden Age, and that is Bambi. So if you're new to my channel, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, vlog videos, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. I will leave links down in the description below for previous installments in this series. And there will probably be some spoilers talking about BAM. There's some things regarding to the plot of this movie that's hard not to talk about. Bambi's mom. So Bambi was released in 1942. It was the last movie of Walt Disney's Golden Age, which were considered the movies that revolutionized the art of animation. And the only reason it ended so quickly was because World War II kind of messed up the Disney studio. So in Bambi, we, we find out in this grand adventure we have humor, heart, we have some loss and tragedy, but it does feature some of the most beloved characters in Disney history. We have Bambi, the wide-eyed fawn who, uh, who learns a lot about nature and his role in the becoming the great prince of the forest. We got his playful pal Thumper. We also have the lovable skunk Flower and the wise friend Al. Uh, I actually watched Joe to Disney Guy's video of Bambi before filming my own video and apparently Bambi was originally meant to be the second animated Disney feature following Snow White. Obviously that didn't happen, mainly due to budget reasons. Uh, they didn't have the technology or the budget yet to create realistic looking deer. If you look at something like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, there's deer in that film and they're more cartoonish looking compared to the more realistic looking animals you see in Bambi. So they had to have the time to figure out how they're going to make these animals look real. I think it was good that they waited because you got to see them expand and evolve the animation within five years. And that is crazy. So you got to see them continually expand, especially in Pinocchio and especially Fantasia. So to see them go all out in Bambi makes this movie so much better and meaningful. Now, Bambi is an interesting release for Disney. Uh, like Fantasia, it feels more like an adult film than it does a kid's film. It, it respects its audience more than... I mean, well, all odd Disney films respect their audience, but this one plays more, I think, for adults. I mean, I enjoyed Bambi growing up as a kid, but it was never one of my favorites or anything. It is a slower-moving film. There's barely any dialogue in it. And the movie revolves mainly around the visual imagery and the music, much like Fantasia, while this one tells a more definite single narrative. Which, I think as a kid, that was at least a step above Fantasia, having the single narrative. Because <laughs> I didn't like Fantasia as a kid. I do now. Fantasia is amazing. I think Bambi's one of those films where I actually enjoy a lot more now that I'm older. I get the see the full picture of what Disney was going for and just say, Oh, look at the cute little deer. Ah, Bambi's mom. Oh, they're falling in love and they're Twitter baited. Ah, oh, man, evil man. You get more of the uh, intent of what Disney was trying to do. They were trying to make a story about nature. You get to see the circle of life and the point of view of a deer. And yeah, Bambi's a very relatable character. You get to see him grow up. You get to see all the things that shape the world around them and he learns how to talk he learns how to have fun and then when he's older he learns more about responsibility and it is a it kept my attention it's a very well-paced film for only 70 minutes much like dumbo they managed to pack so much meat into bambi and tell a very engaging story 
And there, I think there's a lot more meat in Bambi than there was in Dumbo. The, I think the span of Dumbo was probably about like a week. Bambi is a, a, like maybe a year. And it's it was still a well-paced story. That, that's pretty neat. I, I do like all these characters. Bambi is very relatable. And you can definitely see yourself in Bambi's shoes when you see him learn about life and take on responsibility when he gets older. Uh, Fumper is a fun character and Flower the Skunk. Uh, the Great Prince of the Forest, Bambi's father, I think is a very interesting character. He has probably the least dialogue of this entire film, but he carries so much weight and emotion every time you see him on screen. Even the fact that when you first see him on screen, you know that's Bambi's dad. And the movie doesn't really address that that's his dad. Like, he doesn't say, hey, hey, son, until like halfway into the film. Uh, it's very, very smart writing on Disney's part. And it does respect its audience, like I said. You don't even get to see the hunters in this film that are in the forest and uh, hunt the animals. They just show up, but you know they're there from the more ominous music that plays in the background and the gunfire. In fact, uh, there it is heavily rumored that the ominous music, the very simplistic ominous music that signals the approach of man, it's like do 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 do, inspired John Williams' music in just do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I mean, I can see the comparison. Who knew, right? Yeah, it was very smart. You didn't get to see any humans on screen. You can be intimidated by what happens and not see anything, and you just have the music to intensify the mood. And there's a lot of tones sprinkled throughout this film. This film is very cutesy and happy and upbeat. A lot of moments, especially during Bambi's childhood years, uh, where he's playing around in the meadow and he's hanging out with Thumper and Flower and her playing on the ice. And so, much of that, 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 that's very cute stuff. I mean, learning how to talk. But then uh, you get to the part with Bambi's mom! You feel dead inside. Oh, every time I see the scene with. Bambi's mom, I have to. Excuse me for a second. This movie mixes so much tone and emotion. I'm really amazed that Bambi works with almost every single aspect. It can be funny, it can be depressing, it can be a beat. It mixes all these things at once, and I'm really impressed at Disney for doing that. This movie reminds me a lot of Fantasia in a way, honestly, the the, the way the movie plays with so many emotions. And even just the whole, the whole kind of art, artistic quality to the film as well reminds me a lot of Fantasia. And how it uses nature to convey emotions. And the way the animation is synced to the music again, like in Fantasia, is superb. My favorite song in Bambi is Little April Shower. And just the way the music and the animation is synced together. Like you have the raindrop syncing with the clarinet playing its notes. Is excellent. I'm so amazed every time I see that sequence. Along with the symbol representing the lightning. It's some amazing stuff. The animation in Bambi is superb. It's, I think of the Golden Age Disney films, I think Bambi is probably the most artistically stunning out of the bunch. Fantasia was their most experimental, but they went all out with Bambi. I love the natural designs of all of the animals and how realistic they're portrayed and it is so incredible how they're able to pull all these off and they're able to make it look as close to real animals as possible and I even love the stylistic designs of the forest. Ah, th th there's a lot of amazing shots as where well. they bring the multi-plane camera back 
after it was put on the back burner in Dumbo. And we get some amazing shots through the multiplayer. And the opening shot of the forest. I get goosebumps every time I see that sequence. Uh, it is phenomenal. It's probably up there with the Ave Maria shot at the end of Fantasia. Uh, it's, it's that good. So we got all these characters, some good characters, strong emotions, oh, amazing music score, and some phenomenal animation. I have a few nitpicks uh, with Dumbo. I think my biggest one has to be there's one tonal shift in this movie that drives me crazy. So you get the scene with Bambi's mom, as depressing of a scene as it is, you don't even actually see her get shot. Which makes the scene more powerful, and you have Bambi just crying, and he's upset, and then his dad ends up giving him the sad news and everything, and yet with it snowing in the background, it's su such a powerful moment. Our next scene is... <laughs> that... that annoying little spring love song with the birds. Really? That's your way of following Bambi's mom? <laughs> that was a sick move, Disney. That was very sick. Oh man, that's been so messed up on so many levels. Some of the voice acting at times I think is a little distracting, uh, especially some of the more adult voices. Which is weird. I don't know. Thumper sounds really weird as an adult. I, I, I bad it. It's me, Thumper. Right now. <laughs> and I, the songs I'm not the craziest fan of. I love a little April Shower, but the rest are just eh, meh at best. I hate the spring song. That spring song is so annoying, but. Uh, the other songs are just okay at best. They serve the movie fine. The score is, I think, better than the actual songs. The score is phenomenal. I love the score. The songs are just okay at best, except Little April Shower. The, that one is awesome. I I can't praise that song enough. Uh, but other than that, it's excellent. It actually ranks among, actually, my top ten animated Disney films. Uh, particularly the way the film portrays nature and the circle of life and how it respects its audience. I think that alone makes Dumbo a favorite of mine. With the animation, enjoyable and relatable characters and a very powerful story in a short amount of time. I, I really enjoy Bambi. Some other crazy trivia. Uh, apparently Bambi brought in the first female Disney animator who actually animated the very intense sequence with the hunting dogs. Which I did not know that until I saw Joe the Disney Guy's video. That's really neat to see. I didn't know there was a prominent female animator during that time, especially when you had someone like Meryl Streep complain about Walt Disney apparently being a sexist bigot, which uh, apparently that claim is false when you see that he had a female animator working on Bambi. So, uh, I mean, I like you, Meryl Streep, but sometimes you take your politics a little too far. So, uh, you, you might want to shut up for now. <laughs> uh, Bambi's an excellent film. Amazing animation and music. Some powerful moments. Good characters all around an amazing Disney film. So I'm gonna give Bambi five out of five stars and on the 100 point scale, a 98 out of 100. Before I go any further, I have some comment shout outs I'd like to make from previous videos. All right, so there are three comment shout outs I'd like to share from past videos. All three of them come from the same YouTuber and that is Anthony A. Perez who is the most supportive YouTuber on my channel to date. If you have not subscribed to his channel, definitely do so if you haven't already. He does a lot of movie reviews and vlog videos. He's a huge Star Wars fan, so there's a lot of Star Wars content over there. Uh, definitely take a look at his channel and subscribe if you haven't already. So the first comment I'd like to share comes from my vlog trip video of Dumbo, the 2019 live-action remake. He writes... 
great video, man. I definitely appreciate that. He has a review of Dumbo over on his channel, the new film. Uh, so definitely check that one out. Uh, he also commented on my review of the original Dumbo, also saying, good review, man. Yeah, I definitely appreciate the support. And lastly, he commented on my other celebrating Disney video on Fantasia, where he writes, I have so many fond memories of this film growing up. So, Anthony was the exact opposite. I did not like Fantasia when I was a kid, so apparently... You liked Fantasia growing up. And that, that, that's neat. I think Fantasia gives people a greater appreciation of classical music. And that's, that's what's so neat about Fantasia is it mixes two distinct art forms and synchronizes them in a way to where it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. And it's some of the most stunning work of art in, in any movie, I think. So I'm glad to see there's a wider appreciation of Fantasia because it originally it was one of Walt Disney's biggest bombs. It went from one of his biggest bombs to one of his most acclaimed movies in recent years. So I'm glad to see that the reception has changed over time. So that wraps up my comment shout outs. If you would like your comments to be seen in any future videos, all you have to do is share your thoughts down in the comments below. Not just in this video, but in any of my past videos as well. And if my if your comments are respectful, I will share them in future comment shoutouts. So that wraps up my review of Bambi, part of my series of Celebrating Disney, where I celebrate anything in the wonderful world of Disney. I look at the good, I look at the bad, and I just embrace everything about what Disney's done in the past 80 years in the movie industry. This this series is mainly going to be focused on their animated films, but hopefully over time I'll review some of their live action films on here. And I, I'm thinking about doing uh, some of the Disney Toon films as well, so some of the direct-to-DVD sequels. I know they're not that good, but I still would like to review them on my channel just for, just for fun. Uh, see what a hidden gems and what are the absolute worst but right now definitely i'm doing their classic animated films so if you have seen bambi let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film did you love it did you hate it were you mixed on it was it one of your favorites growing up or were you like me or did you appreciate the movie a lot more when you were older if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up Click the subscribe button to see more content and a little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Definitely leave requests on which Disney films I should tackle in my series next, like any live action films or anything else you'd like me to tackle. Uh, for now, my next review and celebrating Disney will be the package anthology film Saludos Amigos, diving into that weird war, 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 ah, that weird wartime anthology era throughout the rest of the 1940s. But I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!